Jalen, thank you for taking time with us at Off the Block Blog. Uh, congratulations on your uh, move to uh, Go Big Red. Uh, what uh, was the instant reaction from um, BYU players, coaches, uh, family, and friends on uh, hearing that you're moving on to uh, Nebraska? Um, they were happy for me, I think. Uh, maybe a little surprised, as, as so was I, to be honest. But uh, I think everyone's happy for me. They're all supportive. and. Uh, um, all the BYU fans are like, well, I guess we have to be kind of Nebraska fans now. So, but it's been it's been good. Uh, can you tell us about how this opportunity came about? Um, yeah, I remember. I think it was right after we got back from a road trip. I looked down at my phone and I got a text from a 502 number that I've never, I never, I honestly didn't know where 502 was, and it was Coach Cook and. Um, right, it was like a week before they announced that Tyler was leaving. Uh, obviously, he knew, so he was looking to kind of put a list together. And you know, he asked if I was interested, and I told him, "Yeah, I was for sure interested." Um, I guess the obvious question is, uh, as successful as you are, why not become a men's uh, volleyball head coach? Why, why, and as opposed to becoming an assistant at the Premier Women's uh, Program? Um, I just think opportunities. There's more opportunities on that side. I know I'm still years and years away from being a head coach but I think um, you know the more time I can put on the women's side especially at a good school um, you know, obviously Nebraska is an awesome opportunity um, but the number of years I can put on that side would probably maybe benefit me in the long run um, and I think you know all the guys coaches you know once they get these jobs I don't think any of them are leaving soon so nor would I so I think just there's more opportunity in the women's side and um, I just looked at as at Nebraska as a kind of a once in a lifetime opportunity to learn from Coach Cook and um, be able to you know kind of get off you know jump into a program where you know we're expected to win every single year and I think that's awesome so I'm excited. Uh, you obviously um, had a lot of uh, tutelage and influences your father, uh, the McGowns, uh, Sean. Uh, what will you take from each coach um, as you uh, prepare to become an assistant at Nebraska? Um, I think, to be honest, a little bit of everything. I, you know, what I learned from my dad was um, more of the family side of being a coach. Um, I'm not married yet, but, um, you know, one day when I am, I think I'll learn a lot of that, like some of the good things and the bad things, to be honest. Um, I'm also, like, I learned from him just the just the experience of you know going to work with him as a little kid and seeing what he did on a day-to-day -day basis and try to take what you know worked for them at Hawaii and what maybe didn't work for them so I try to take more of the good stuff from that and then just from the McGowan's just the um, the unreal eye I would say they had for the little details it was unbelievable I remember learning that as a player and also talking to them as a as a you know really young coach in terms of being able to pick up you know where someone's looking at or what this person's foot is doing in this situation or just the little details that even to really good volleyball minds they wouldn't even pick up to be honest um, you know what I've learned from Sean and Luca is you know how to interact with players on a day-to-day -day basis and um, you know just actually working with them getting to you know it's one thing to kind of watch my dad do it versus I'm the one actually doing it nowadays so I think I learned a lot from them in terms of actually being on the job and um, you know, they give me different tasks throughout throughout the days, and um, just being able to learn and be able to learn from them, and that's what I'm excited from. You know, excited about going to Nebraska is to be able to learn from Coach Cook uh, and Kayla, by the way. <laughs> Don't want to forget her. Oh yeah. Uh, what will you miss most about uh, BYU? Um, I'm gonna miss a lot of things. You know, it's where I went to school. It's where I played. So I think just being there for seven straight years now is uh, I'm gonna miss that a ton. I really like the Provo area. I have a lot of friends in the area. I'm gonna miss um, the BYU crowd. I know in Nebraska we'll have a really good crowd as well. So I'm excited about that. But I've I've uh, I felt like I've grown up in front of a lot of these people. You know, since I've started playing and the same people that the same energetic fans that come to our matches at BYU. They did that. You know, when I first started playing at BYU, and Luca, Sean, Luca and Sean told me that they did the same thing when, when they played. So I'm gonna miss that, that family volleyball atmosphere. I know I'm gonna get a different one in Nebraska for sure, but I'm gonna miss, I'm gonna miss the fans and of course all the boys. I'm gonna miss the most, just recruiting a lot of these kids and working them on a day-to-day -day basis. Um, I think, I think after this year, all the kid, all the guys that I played with will be, um, 
will be graduated, so I won't have any more of my teammates left on the team. But just I think the boys and getting to work with Sean and Luca and Chelsea and, and Mike every day, I think I'm going to miss that for sure. Is that a sign that you're getting old now? That <laughs> all the players that you played with yeah, are graduating? Yeah, seriously. I think the last, the last four that I was teammates, Leo, Price, Rupert, Sykes, and, and Brendan, I guess five, they're all they're the last ones on the team that I played with when I when they they were freshmen when I was a senior. So it's kind of weird that they're the other night they had their senior night. And I was like, wow, I never thought I'd be here for that. And, well, the next sign that you know you're old is when you're ineligible for the 30 under 30. But uh, that's <laughs> a few years away. And congratulations on your honor. Thank you. Thank you so much. Um, as for the sport of men's volleyball, what will you miss most? Oh, I think a lot of things. I think I'll miss. Um, Dealing with these guys, I'm gonna miss. I, re, I, 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 you know, this might be this is not an indictment against women's volleyball because I don't know them, so I don't know that side. But I'm gonna really miss um, the recruiting tournaments and getting to hang out with um, the other coaches. I really like men's volleyball. Really, is a small, small brotherhood that everyone looks out for each other. Everyone really cares for each other. Of course, we try to kill each other on Thursday, Friday, Saturday nights, but. You know, um, I'm going to miss the togetherness, I feel, from a lot of the coaches in the men's game, for sure. I think that's going to be the thing I miss the most. I think the volleyball is going to be slightly different, but I'm going to miss that. Um, I'm going to miss that the most, I think. Probably not going to miss the uh, service errors, though. <laughs> I guess not, but it's it's a different game. So right. I'm not, I'm not going to say I don't care about service errors, but um, I just understand you got to serve the ball hard to be successful here. For sure, for sure.